I have figured out how to do the most useful camera glitch in Fey Farm. Not only does it allow you to change the camera angle in a way that the game otherwise doesn't allow you to do, it has a lot of other beneficial uses as well. The best part about it is that it is easy to pull off, and I'm gonna show you how. Fey Farm, when played normally, has no camera controls. You are generally just stuck with whatever camera angle the game deems appropriate, which in pretty much all situations is perfectly fine. Although sometimes I would wish that I could zoom out the camera even just a bit, but alas, there was no way to do it. Until now! Spoiler warning for those who are just starting the game. If you are not yet on chapter 4, then this video might spoil the story just a little bit for you. you have have been warned. To pull off this glitch, you're going to need two things. One is that you will need to have access to the Wisp Mother, which isn't available until you beat Chapter 3, which involves getting to the 25th floor of the Saltwater Mines and finishing the gathering quest for Nepi the Sea Monster. I mean, the Sprite of Tides and Sea. The other thing you need is the Fishing Rod, which you should have gotten from Eddie early on in the game. Now make sure your Fishing Rod is to the right or left of your active item in the quick select. For the sake of this video, I put it to the right. Then just head on up to the Wisp Mother. Talk to her for good luck, although not necessary. What you really want is the camera angle to automatically zoom out, which it does whenever you see her because she's a big lady and needs to be seen in all her majestic beauty. Now all you need to do is walk back down the stairs away from her. When you get to the bottom of the stairs, right there, Press the right bumper button to switch to your fishing rod. Then after about a second has passed, switch back using the left bumper. If done successfully, the camera should stay zoomed out. If unsuccessful, just run back up to her and try again. The beauty of this trick is that no matter how long it takes you to pull it off, the glitch will remain active as long as you desire it to last. It will stay active whether you enter a building or a mine. The view in the building actually looks really bizarre by the way. You could kind of see a view of the town from the perspective of the ocean. And this glitch even stays is active if you go to sleep and start a new day. As far as I've found, there's two sure ways to deactivate the glitch. One is just by resetting your game, and the other is by going back to the Wisp Mother and talking to her. If you did somehow manage to deactivate this glitch by accident, it shouldn't really matter. Since once you get the hang of this glitch, it's really easy to replicate and reactivate. Now you might be wondering, what are the benefits of this new camera angle? Well, one benefit is you now get to see a wide shot of your farm in all of its glory. Another benefit is as you run around the town and other areas, you get a much better view of all the critters you can catch, trees you can chop, forage you can gather, and it helps you find all other kind of resources and the villagers. I even managed to see the exact moment I finished the quest for my man Mel up there. Also, you can get a really cool view of your farm from Mel's vantage point. But the absolute best use of this glitch has to be for farming the mines. You can pretty much see every possible node you can harvest on any given level of each mine. This is especially useful for the floating runes and scorched caverns. With the normal camera angle in these mines, you can't see anything. And it can be annoying to navigate through all the obstacles and jumbles just to get to an area in the mine that doesn't end up having the resources you're looking for. With this glitch, this is no longer a problem. For example, on this level of the Scorched Caverns, I'm looking for obsidian, which can be a pain in the butt to find. But now I can see exactly where each node is. And if I can't see any, I can easily jump to the next floor and find it there. As of making this video, the new Skies of Azoria DLC has been released, which is good news because with all the fixes they added in the patch, they didn't manage to fix this glitch. With luck, they never will. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of uses I can put this glitch to as I start my playthrough of the new content. As you put this glitch into action, I would really like to know what kind of uses you end up finding for it, or if you find any more amazing views. Let me know in the comments down below, but until next time, keep on questing.